Ten years after taking bailout loans from Congress, General Motors is looking to make business cuts that rival the amount borrowed back then. Congress not very amused thus far, and Mary Barr is going to spend the next couple of days looking to mend those fences. Our business editor, Rob Maloney, is live tonight with how her visit is being received. Rob. Yeah, Devin, she went to uh, Senator Rob Portman's office. He's from Ohio, and he, he was also there with Sherrod Brown, the other Ohio senator. And uh, they have been pretty tough on her. In particular, Sherrod Brown has said that, you know, Ohio stood by General Motors, and now it's time for General Motors to stand by Ohio. And so that's the kind of audience that, that Mary Barra was going into today, and this is what happened as she came out tonight. GM's using the word unallocated instead of saying it's closing five plants, which is auto industry speak for there's no product for the plant at the end of next year. And as Mary Barra went to Washington to explain what that really means, late this afternoon, she emerged from her first meeting to say, I want you to note that any time um, we have to make the decisions like we did, they are incredibly difficult because they impact the lives of General Motors team members. So right now our focus is on all of them. We're working to have a plan for every person, looking at opportunities that we have across the country uh, for them to, um, to be able to transfer or to consider. Auto Trader analyst Michelle Krebs tells Local 4 that single bit of jargon, unallocated, is the backdrop for Barra's Washington visit. Next year is a labor negotiating year. While we've heard about these vehicles that are going away, we have not heard yet what new products are coming into the market and could go into, you know, some existing plants or plants that are on the list. Kremp says the world's changed dramatically since the bankruptcy and to have a healthy company, Barra needs to make tough decisions. And Barra made that case as well. We are in an industry that is uh, transforming faster than I've ever seen in my 38 year career. And we're trying to make sure that General Motors is strong and that we're in a leadership position in the technologies like electrification, like autonomous vehicles, like connectivity, because that's what customers want. That's what, where the industry is going. So as you see, she's standing her ground there. She was heckled in the hallway when she came out to do her press briefing this afternoon. She was also asked a lot of pointed questions about the tax reform that gave a, a lot of tax breaks to GM and the threat by the president to end the, uh, the uh, electric vehicle uh, subsidies that the company gets. And uh, she stood her ground and said, look, we, we just have to do this and do the right thing to keep this company healthy. And so it looks like she's not backing down. Back to you. Well, Rob, this is uh, scheduled to be a two-day trip for Mary Barr. What's on the schedule then for tomorrow? Well, okay, tomorrow is Michigan. She met with Ohio and also with Maryland uh, representatives today. Tomorrow, it's the Michigan delegation. Now, they all know each other all on a personal level. Right. Um, so this should not be a long or particularly uh, ugly meeting unless what Debbie Dingell has been saying about the fact that GM's a least like company in Washington, D.C. We'll see how the Michigan delegation brings that to Mary Barra when they meet. We sure will. All right, Rod.